Hey guys, it's Maddie and Maggie, and I'm so excited to be here today. And then we have Sadie in the back there. I hope you guys all had the greatest Christmas ever. And today I'm super excited to share with you some of my Christmas traditions, what I did on Christmas Eve and Christmas, and some of my favorite gifts I got. My dogs got me some presents too. I'm so excited to show you guys. I woke up at 4 a.m. and I'm like, Mom, what time is it? Thinking it's going to be like, you know, 7.40 kind of thing, like pretty close to 8, which is usually when I wake up on weekends or when I have a break. And my mom's like, it's 4 a.m., go back to bed. And I'm like, I did. I went back to bed, but I wasn't too happy because I just wanted to be able to wake up and have fun. But it all worked out, and why I woke up so early is because I was excited because it's Christmas Eve. Another reason why I love Christmas Eve is because I go to my auntie's and we always have a delicious Christmas Eve dinner, and me and my cousin exchange gifts. And the surprising thing on Christmas Day is I did wake up, but it wasn't so early. It was a little bit later than four, it was 5.30. Um, and luckily I went to bed straight after that and then I woke up at eight and I'm surprised I didn't wake up at seven. That was my goal, but that didn't happen. So I woke up at eight and then I opened some of my gifts and I gave my parents the cards I made for them. And this is one of the traditions me and my family do for Christmas is we always have this delicious breakfast. It tastes so good. I think it has eggs, beef, and cheese in it. It tastes really yummy. And then we usually get games every year, so I did get some games. So we played those games a little later in the day, and I had the best Christmas ever. Leave me a comment down below what some of your favorite Christmas or Christmas Eve traditions. I just love to hear them. So the first thing is pretty special to me, and I have it on. It's this blanket, and the specialist thing is, my dad actually made this for me. And it's like purple, and it's so soft and fluffy. I love it. It's really cozy and warm. It's perfect for cold days like winter. It's just like you can kind of cuddle up in here, and you drink some hot chocolate, and watch some YouTube or Netflix. That's what I like to do. And if you see the present in the back there, don't worry, we didn't forget about it. It's for my Opa. He doesn't live in the same city as us, so we like to go and visit him. So we're gonna bring that present up to him. I hope we get to see him this weekend. All right, this is probably the favorite thing I got for this Christmas. Well, actually this and the blanket, they're kind of tied. So what I got is, it's a card and it says, Madison, pack your bags. You and me will be going to the end of the road tour for KISS. It's one of my favorite bands, and I'm so sad that they're not gonna be playing anymore. But luckily we get a seat. It's on Wednesday, March 27th, 2019. And the best thing ever is we get a seat in New York. And the silliest thing is why my mom named me Madison is because my mom really likes New York and there's a place there called Madison Avenue. So she named me after Madison. So <laughs> that's kind of the story behind my name. But the funniest thing is on the Christmas tag, it said, to Madison, Merry Christmas, love mommy, Merry Christmas. It's like kiss and it's like Merry Christmas. So I thought that was kind of funny. So I'm really excited to see this show, except it's in March. I wish it was sooner because I can't wait to see it. But I mean, you know, it's probably gonna come faster than it seems. Leave me a comment down below if you guys are KISS fans just like me, or what your fave concert would be to go and see. So here I have some dangles, and these are really cool. You can make letters of names and then you can add on some cool things to them so that's like a k and then you can also make like a heart or a bird cage if you want so these are really cool then i have a calligraphy coloring set well it's just like calligraphy so you can practice so there's a whole bunch of letters it's a way of writing fancier so it's almost like handwriting and then i have 
two pens and these ones are like they have really thin really thin tips or points then I have a watercolor brush pen set and this has 20 colors oh, <laughs> there's still a piece of wrapping paper on here silly me and then we have another calligraphy set and this one's by Creole Crayola and I like how this one has a whole bunch of different colors and not just like black and gray. So that's all of the artsy stuff I got and I'm really excited to try the calligraphy set. Leave me a comment down below if you'd like to see me doing a video of me trying calligraphy or once I've learned a little bit of it so I can show you guys. So I got a book that says Girl's Best Friend. I'm really excited to read it. And then this is the one's kind of silly. It's like a mini microphone. I can't wait to try that one out. And then I have Poopsies! And I have twins. I think this is Oopsie Starlight or something. I love making slime with the Poopsies. They're just so fun to make. Oh, I want to show you my marquee sign I got. It's so cool. I put on I heart my mom heart and dad heart. And then I put an exclamation mark. And it's really cool. So there's a control at the top. And this is how I can control it. So I can do off or on, but I like it on right now. And the really cool thing about my Mark keyboard is you can change out the letters and emojis. I have a whole bunch of different ones. One of my faves is the unicorn and poop emoji. I remember when I was younger, I used to put poop emojis on all my text messages that I'd send my parents or my grandparents. That was my theme. Also, my dad got me a Fitbit Ace. Leave me a comment down below if any of you guys have a Fitbit Ace like me. It's pretty incredible. They set you for a step of 10,000. I had to change it to 4,000. That's my goal. And then I did a sleep one, and my goal was 10 hours. And instead, I woke up this morning to seven hours and 30 minutes. I didn't reach my goal yet. Three more hours away. And I'll start to increase my steps from 4,000 to get up to 10. I think once I maybe hit 4,000 for a couple months or weeks, then I can change it to 5,000 and keep working at that. And one of my favorite products that my mom gave me is Who's That Girl? And it's actually their glitter root, so it's really sparkly. I am not gonna apply any on right now, but if you can kind of see in my hair, there's still quite a few sparkles from, the, from when I had it on yesterday. And then it also has a baby keychain. So maybe if you're on the go and your glitter roots are starting to come out, you can kind of touch it up. I want to see how big the brush is on this one. Oh, it's so small. Oh my gosh, there's like a rubber band in there. Hello. <laughs> I got to turn. Him. Hello. far and one thing that I really like is I got a yellies so the louder you scream will yell the faster it goes the lower you yell the slower it goes for my auntie is squeezable unicorn lights. They're super squishy. I can't wait to put these up in my room. Maybe once I hang these up in my room and tidy it, I can give you guys a room tour. As you guys know from my Vlogmas video, I told you that my grandma gets me a special ornament every year and this is what she got me this year. I love it, it's beautiful. One of the things that is pretty good for keeping something special is my Cryptex. There's a secret code and it unlocks. Let me unlock it. Let's see, did I get it? Nope. You have to have it just aligned right, otherwise it won't work. There we go.
I have two coins that I got from BC. It's like one of the machines where you put in like, I think it's a loony or a toonie and then it crushes it and puts a stamp on it. I have two of these and they're both from BAM. When I went up the gondola. Gotta keep these safe. Oh, sometimes I can't always get to close on the bottom. It's a little tricky. There we go. And now I've got to mix up the code. And one of the coolest things I got is LOLs. And you might be thinking why its head is just so sparkly. It's because you can actually put wigs on them. This teal one's my favorite. So you can put them on all of these different LOL characters. It looks so cool. And then there's also some gummier wigs that you can add on to the pets. So, so it's the same thing for the pet and then you can kind of add on the wig. And for this LOL, she also has normal hair and I can add a wig and it makes her look like she has some pretty cool hair. You've got a whole bunch of accessory stuff and these ones are really cool. It's like they're little stickers of LOL doll faces that you can add on. Then there's a little bit more wigs here and then we, over here we have some of the gummy ones and then this is the normal wig. And I got a tall spirit horse and this one is what my cousin got me for Christmas and he eats carrots. I'll show you how it works. So there's a button on the back and if you press it lightly, he just neighs. And if you, pre and if you press and hold, he'll eat a carrot. And now it's gone. And the coolest thing is, if you look at I'm gonna turn him off so he doesn't keep nay. If you look at the bottom, there's this little flap and here's the carrot. Isn't that crazy cool? I just love the spirit dolls and horses. Leave me a comment down below if any of you guys have the spirit stuff. And then I got some Moj Mojes and I also got the claw machine. So then you have the little egg, and actually I took all of them out, but I will show you all the ones I got. They're in this lunch kit right here. So my grandma got me this, and it's a flip lunch kit, and it has an M on it for Maddie. So all my Moj Moj are in here. So I have a whole bunch and I kind of call this one like a boob because it looks like a little boob and they're super soft and squishy. Well, the only sad thing is I got this butterfly and it's defective. There's a hole in the bottom and this cat, which looks like also mermaid, it kind of got dented a little bit, but they're still super squishy. And my favorite one, well, I actually have two favorites. It's probably this purple kitty and my glittery bunny. And I got these pre-made slimes. I want to show you a couple of them. So they're pre-made and that came with ingredients that you can add in. Some are really, really glittery already or really neon. I know this one kind of looks like teal, but it's actually green. So it came with a whole bunch of different pre-made slimes and then you get to add all these cool ingredients. So this one I actually left with nothing along with a green sparkly one because I wanted to still have some sticky ones because they're actually all pretty sticky. And then once you add ingredients like this one, they kind of get not so sticky. I want to show you this one first. This one is my favorite. This one has a whole bunch of pom-poms in it and it's so squishy and crackly and soft. And then this is what they're like when you don't really have any ingredients. They're pretty sticky. Sometimes you can't get them off your hands because they're so sticky. So this one's pretty sticky. It's kind of sticking to my hands, but that's okay. Gosh, I love all the bubble cracks in here. It's so good. Then some have giblets and beads in them. But 
these are just two of my faves. Well, actually, I have one that's my second favorite. I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like when you don't have anything in it, how it is quite sticky. So this is my second favorite, and this one has some stars in it, and this one has the giblets. This one has a whole bunch of golden stars. It has a donut, and then it also has a unicorn. And again, this one is really stretchy. I like it when the unicorn or donut kind of goes in the middle because then it looks pretty cool, like there's a unicorn in the middle. Okay guys, I think I'm gonna end the video here because I promised my bestie Mahak that I call her so we can play Roblox. We really like to call each other. Sometimes we just talk and sometimes we play Roblox. Hey, maybe Mahak wants to say hi to you guys. Let me give her a call quick. <laughs> hi Mahak, one second. Hi. This is my bestie Mahak. Do you want to say hi? Hello. <laughs> so we are gonna play Roblox today, right? Yeah. Alright, do you wanna say bye to them? <laughs> bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> I'm so glad you guys got to meet my friend. Well, I've gotta go play Roblox with her now. Bye guys, see you next time. The end. Thanks for watching. To join all the fun up in our treetop, please subscribe to Little Monkey Media's channel. Don't forget, if you like our video, please share it and click like. We go banana!